We're here at Nottingham Trent University to speak to Hidden Histories coordinator Natalie Braba. So this particular project, Hidden Strangers, looks at Germans in the UK during World War One. Now Germans had been moving to the UK and had been living here very happily for a long time and there hadn't been many problems. But with the outbreak of war, the situation changed. A lot of, especially men, were interned in prison of war camps, but many other people were attacked and shops were looted because of links that they had with Germany. And we're looking at how these strangers who were living within us were treated. In 1914, there was almost 25,000 Germans living in Britain. After Britain declared war on Germany in August 1914, anti-German hostility spread. Riots and other acts of defiance occurred throughout Britain, with four major riots taking place across London. During these riots, Germans were assaulted and stores were looted if they were owned by those suspected to be linked with Germany. This method of selection led to many people with no connection to Germany also being targeted. The anti-German hostility was so widespread that even the British monarchy felt the grip of oppression. King George V was advised to change his German birth name, saxe coburg to Windsor, as well as relinquish all German ties to his relatives on behalf of his British subjects. In Britain, hysteria had grown to such a level that even the German shepherd breed of dog wasn't safe. The German shepherd was renamed to the Alsatian. This new name lasted for decades until the English Kennel Club reinstated German Shepherd as an official name in 1977. Although resentment towards Germans started from the onset of the war, there was one incident that caused it to escalate to a whole other level. On the 7th of May 1915, the British passenger ship, the RMS Lusitania, was sunk by German military forces near the northern Irish coast. A total of 1,198 innocent people were killed, leaving only 671 survivors. The British Foreign Office used this to fuel their propaganda by creating replica German medals which featured the ship itself sinking and claimed that these medals were awarded to soldiers that sunk the RMS Lusitania. These medals were in fact fabricated and the soldiers who sunk the Lusitania were never awarded for their attack. The British government created various pieces of propaganda which either exaggerated stories about the German brutality or entirely made them up. The purpose of these pieces was to unite Britain and convince them of the importance of war and victory. Many people in Britain believed that these stories about German soldiers and took their anger out on the only people they could, the German citizens living across Britain. These Germans found themselves unable to find work and accommodation and in extreme occasions they were beaten and killed. This led to Germans being placed in prisoner war camps for their own protection. 